Hello and welcome back to a new Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2 roleplay campaign. What do I mean by a roleplay campaign? What I mean is we play by the traits of the character, we act as the character would, and we just see where the game takes us. So then it's been a lot of fun, we've tried a couple of these before, and this time we're going to be playing over in New Valyria in the Century of Blood bookmark. Now this is set a little bit before Aegon the Conqueror was around, so Seven Kingdoms still not properly, you know, merged into one. They're all kind of separate still, but um, it does have a lot of interesting stuff going on. It has a lot of dragons everywhere, and if I read you this little blurb here, this little uh, description, uh, you'll hopefully know a little bit more about it. The Century of Blood. The Valyrian Freehold has collapsed. A doom has befallen the peninsula. That means Valyria is now gone and the Freehold destroyed. It is said that the fire and smoke was so hot that even the dragons have been consumed. The destruction of Valyria has strongly reduced the number of dragon lords left in the known world. House Targaryen has had already relocated to Dragonstone. Some other dragon lords, those who had not been in Valyria when the doom occurred, have survived as well. The destruction of Valyria has left a power vacuum in Essos. Orion, a dragon lord who had been visiting Kohor, has proclaimed himself the first emperor of Valyria, raised forces from the Kohoric. Volantis, the mightiest of the nine free cities, has laid claim to Valyria's empire. Meanwhile, there are rumors of Dothraki riding out of the east. There will surely be struggle and chaos. Right, so basically what does this mean? Well, Volantis here has declared themselves the Empire of New Valyria and they have gone off and started declaring wars. You'll see we're in one right now against Mir and Lys. Uh, I believe these are kind of total conquest wars, so we'll see how much, uh, how strong New Valyria can get. Um, there is also the Seven Kingdom was over here. You'll see all of the normal people. I believe we have the Starks right there. I should mark some of these as special interests just so we have them. We have the Stormlands, ruled by Storm King Arlen III. Um, Dondarrion, I believe, right? Oh, not Dondarrion. Uh, Durandon. We have the Arons, who are ruling uh, the Mountain and Vale. We have, in the Reach, the Gardeners are ruling, still. Um, and in the Rock, we should have the Lannisters. In Dorne, we still have Martells. We have Prince Peros. And over here in the Iron Islands, we have uh, the Whores. Ooh, I believe, oh, that's a crown. Ah, but it's not a treasury crown. It's just a, it's just a graphical crown. All right, cool. Um, over here, we have Tyrosh, which is ruled by the Zokans. I'm just saying everybody we got here. We have Mir, who are ruled by the Lornells. We have Lys, who are ruled by the Safmantis. We also, over here, should probably point out, we have Dragonstone, which is ruled by the Targaryens. Pentos, who's ruled by uh, the Narratis. Although, all of these are republics over here, so they will change, probably. Although, that's not a republic thing. No, it is. It's got little banners on it. So, yeah, I think that is still a republic. Yeah, Merchant Republic. We have Bravos up here, ruled by the uh, Ten Dyrus. Uh, we have Lorath, ruled by the Vaz... Uh, Vazolans. We have Norris, ruled by High Priest Ariel. We have Kohor, ruled by the Quarets. And we have New Valyria, ruled by our liege Trier uh, Marquello Tagaros. In Esseria, we have. Uh, it's all ruled by uh, Parisis. Something like that. I think that's probably enough for just now. And we should probably set the Dothraki. Ruled by the great Cal Mengo Mengo. Okay, cool. Right, so let's have a look at where we started. We are Triar. We we are um, Triar Alex of New Valeria, also known as Lord Master Alex of Ulvis Mel. Um, we are Valerian, which gets a whole bunch of opinion with a whole bunch of people, um, which is cool. We also are a Merchant Republic, so we can do all the things Merchant Republics can do. We can is it be a republic? Um, we are of House Vassar, which has eight living members. So we have us, we have our four children, um, we have our sister, our brother, uh, our other sister, and that's everybody. Yeah, that's us all here. So we should probably make sure our family is well set for. We also all appear to have white hair, as um, associate Valerians tend to. Um, we are a skilled steward, so very, very good at that sort of stuff. Although, actually, 
Being a skilled steward, you would expect our stewardship to be higher. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we are a trained fighter, so good at fighting. We're part of the Elephant Faction. So these are a party of merchants and moneylenders who advocate trade. They expect their triarchs to oppose wars of conquest. So we get extra tax for that, but we have some less effectiveness in battle. And we hate people who are the opposite traits. Who I think are something like Tiger and something else. Um, we could probably see if we hit... Yeah, we got Tiger right there. So there's a party of old aristocracy um, and warriors who advocate the sword. They expect their triarchs to back wars of conquest. So yeah, there's actually just the straight opposite. I think there is a third as well. Um, but I've forgotten what that one is. But we, we will get to it in time, I'm sure, if there is. We're also a slave trader, so we trade in slaves, and we're a slave owner. We have slaves. We are patient. We are gregarious. We're quite content with our current lifestyle, but we're also cruel. So we're kind of, we're, we're not going to rush to anything. We're quite friendly with people who I imagine are equal to our station, but um, we're quite cruel to people who are not. Um, okay, cool. Let's go set ourselves some ambitions. So we could desire to come on our lieges council. That's definitely something that I could see us ha having. We could desire to fall in love. We could want to have five children. Want to adopt a lifestyle or obtain a dragon egg. Let's have a look here. We're content with our station. So these ones are all out. We're cruel. We're gregarious. So gregarious, maybe fall in love kind of fits into that. We quite like uh, being social. Socially competent. Adopt a lifestyle. Get ourselves a hobby. That could maybe fit in as well. Um, you know what? Let's go for get ourselves a hobby. There we go. And then, in our focus, we are part of the Elephant Faction, so we quite like being part of Merchants. Seems business focus would be the obvious choice here. We're content with our station, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, business seems to fit into that quite well. So we're going to be business focused. We are married to uh, Belecha Herios, who is of House Herios, who has no other living members, okay? And she's old enough that she's probably not going to give us any more children, but we already have four. We could get secondary wives. Do we lose prestige for not having them? No. So we're not going to rush to that. We're content with our station in life. But, uh, you know, if the opportunity arises, we won't uh, shy away from it. We have a daughter who is 11, um, who needs some focuses set for her. We have a son who is 8, so that'll probably be our heir. Actually, because we're a republic, our heir is actually uh, the oldest, I think, or the person with the most prestige or something like that. It's some weird combination. Oh, seniority. It's actually straight seniority. Oh, no, I was thinking uh, over here. This respect thing for republics is all based upon a whole bunch of different things. So we hover over its age factor, prestige, and how much put into a campaign fund. But seniority for who inherits. So our brother will inherit next. Okay, cool. Um, so we have our son. We still want to educate him as if he's going to take over one day, but not necessarily going to be next. We have another daughter. And then we have another son. Cool. Uh, we need to set all of them stuff. We have our brother who is our heir. He probably needs to marry. He is Chase. Cynical, craven, and honest. Oh, he's kind of awful altogether. So he's kind of cynical. He'll tell people about it. He, he, he'll hide away and be very honest and open about it. And he's, he's also Chase. So yeah, he is just awful. Anyway. Um... Yeah, he is still our brother and he is our heir currently. Right, so let's set some of our stuff. So we need a council. Um, what do we actually control? That's probably a good place to start. So we control the city of Ulvis Mel. We also control the castle of Ulvis Mel. And we control House Fasar. So that's over here. So we control this and this. And then we have one um, vassal who controls the temple. Okay, cool. And that vassal is currently our Seneschal. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, our Justicier should not be our wife because um, you, it's just bad in Crusader Kings to have your uh, wife as your uh, uh, as anything on the council, basically. Ba uh, because if we have a look here at diplomacy, um, basically it's made of oh, state diplomacy. It's made up of your councillors and your wife. But if your wife is your councillor, you don't get a, you don't get the double bonus. You only get a singular one. So we can't have her there. So, let's uh, choose a new Justicier. We actually don't have anybody else. Wow. Uh, we have some seriously bad people. Do we have anybody else who I'd want to be there? Also, can we change where people are on a council? No. 
No, we cannot. We cannot. Uh, we do don't have change council position, so it's fire or you know, it's uh, yeah, basically it's fire or appoint someone else new. But like, there's there's no swapping. Okay, our chief general. Um, how are you doing? You are not as good as this person. Okay, so we'll probably swap that one into chief general. Uh, Donifos. There we go. Lord Treasurer, um, that seems fine for him to be our Lord Treasurer currently. Uh, Spymaster is our sister. Alright, um, that seems fine to me. Uh, court Physician is currently this person, Serena. Um, why, wait, yeah, it says we have an important decision to recruit a Court Physician. We already have one. Okay, weird. Oh, ah, no, okay, I get it. Basically, we have a Court Physician here. But this is a council position, not a minor title position. There's also a minor title position for, um, or there should be for court physician. Or maybe those will connect into each other at some point. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, we could also appoint an heir. Oh, interesting. That's cool. So we could, if, if we like our son better, we could appoint him as our heir. Okay, cool. Let's set up all of these people. So Oversea Realm is the one that basically allows you to get special tithes. So we'll set that one up. Here, um, improve diplomatic relations probably with our liege just to start with. Just while we have nobody else. We can't improve relations with our liege. Okay. Um, who do we want to improve relations with? Or do we want to use our council for something else? We can get him to sow descent. Um, we'll just get him to improve relations on our land. Wait, this is our land, right? No, this is our land. We can't get him to improve relations there. Um, no, no. I guess we'll just leave him performing statecraft then. Or her performing statecraft. Although we should actually replace our wife, so it doesn't matter. Um, this person is going to be tra training children, not training troops. Because we want our children to get uh, good traits. And because, well, we, we're not really planning on going to war. Our Lord Treasurer is going to go and collect us some taxes. Uh, and our spy master is going to scheme. Uh, court physician is going to serve court, which basically allows them to progress the child. We can also lead to some negatives, which I believe is why you can untick it if you want to. And our storm singer is going to go and uh, pro probably just go hunt people. There we go. Go hunt down societies. Um, right, so our line of succession goes our brother, our son... And then our son. We probably want um, our son to take over, but we won't put him as a designated heir until he's of age. That kind of makes sense for us. Military. We actually have quite a large military for this. Um, we could maybe go and be militaristic, but I don't really want to do that right now. Intrigue. We can recruit a court physician. I'm just going to leave that for a little bit to make sure that we... Um, oh. We actually don't have the same thing as our... Uh, we don't have the same religion as the people in our area. We should probably actually have set that our person to uh, convert. Is he our best storm singer? Yes, he is. Uh, we'll set them to convert when uh, that wears off. So, 3rd of July or something like that. Okay. Um, here... What's this? We can choose different faiths that we accept alongside our, tr our true Valyrian beliefs. Interesting. Um, that must use the secret religion um, like stuff, I would imagine. Ah, cool. Uh, we can buy slaves. We can sell slaves. Um, for quite a lot of money. We can also free them if we want to. We can also buy Unsullied. Which is a cool option. And we can see how many we can get there. But we probably do we don't have that much money right now. But we could sell slaves, buy Unsullied if we want to go to war. Party Allegiance. Um, uh, I think that just switches us from Elephant to Tiger. Okay. Um, in fact, can we see anywhere here? Oh, Triarchy. There we go. Um, so there should be three. We have the elephants. We have... Uh, da, 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 da. We. I'm just trying to read through this to see if we have anything. I definitely see elephants advocate trade, tigers advocate conquest. So there are only two. Okay, well, that's fine. There are, only, there are only actually two there. That's fine. Uh, that makes some sense. Okay, where were we? So we're in important decisions. Uh, we can commission statues, we can delegate all sorts of things. Uh, one thing I should point out is we do have a lot of dragons around, and they're all wild dragons. We have Valerian, Heartfire, Denarian, Illinus. There's, there's a whole bunch of dragons. And if we want to go get a dragon, 
there are some dragons that we can potentially go and get, so that might be a cool idea to try. And we can construct flagships and things like that. Okay, cool. Um, let's just stick with where we are. I'm going to leave court physician for a second in case it uh, also updates. Um, we should get our heir married, even though he is chase, he should still marry. We need to set a designated regent. We're going to set that as our heir currently. We're going to set that as our brother. Uh, we're not going to set our designated heir just now because uh, we want to change it to our son. Three children lack focuses. So this is our daughter. Our daughter is affectionate, idolizer, playful. Uh, so humility is the one that gets her affectionate and timid. Um, idolizer was the one was one from Faith. I'm just trying to figure out how she got these. And playful. She probably ha uh, is... You get that from etiquette. She probably didn't have a focus then. Or these were just randomly generated. What do we want our daughter to be? Well, probably etiquette makes more sense. Uh, tutored by counselors and other courtiers. Focusing on courteous behavior and etiquette. Kind of makes sense for our daughter. Right, who's next? We have um, our son, who we want to make our heir one day. He is willful, currently. Um, we probably want to go either pride, where he's being groomed for rulership, or duty. He's focusing on duty, diligence, and all that sort of stuff. Let's have a look here at, uh, at what we want to do with that. Um, probably we want pride. I think pride kind of fits what we want our son to be. We want to groom him for rulership. We're kind of patient and content with ourselves, but maybe we want our son to be better than ourselves. I don't know. We'll go with that. And then our last one is our daughter. Um, and we'll go for etiquette once more. Cool. Right. Uh, all of those are set. We're not going to do court physician. We're just going to unpause the game and see how everything plays out. So. Yeah. There we go. We're getting event spammed. So. Uh, High Priest Aereo has declared the no... Uh, the Norvosi slave raid on Sarroy, Quintin of Sarroy. So Sarroy is... Wow, there are a lot of events. It's over there. So Norvos is declared on them. We have too many events. I'm trying to get do these one at a time. Okay, so that's what he's done. Storm King Arland of the Stormlands created a title. Don't care. Uh, Great Cal Mengo of the Dothraki Seas declared the Great Cal Mengo's war against King Ganash of Gornath on King Ganash of Gormath, which he is over here so the Dothraki are expanding okay and the, the, the Dothraki the many cows of the great grass sea have been rallied under the same banner the leader that managed to unite them all is Mengo the people of the grasslands now call their leader great Cal and have set their minds not only to rule in the Dothraki sea but to spread throughout the world under the leadership of the stallion who will mount the world. Is there anyone who can stop the thundering armies of thousands of hooves? Something has to be done to stop them. Okay, cool. Uh, it looks like our court physician didn't set, which is interesting. I would assume that it should automatically set as our, um, like as the person we have in position for court physician. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll untick it. If we get ill, we'll see whether we need to hire one. Okay, cool. Unpause again. Get a few more events. So, Emperor Orion, uh, who is a dragon rider, but uh, and has a dragon. Okay, so I think it looks like it's assigned some dragons and dragon riders right now as well. Um, let's just quickly go and have a look here. Show me the dragons. Ah, we now have everyone assigned to dragon riders. Perfect. Valerian isn't uh, assigned because he's too young. But Heartfire... Um, is Gaiman Targaryen. Uh, Daenerian is uh, Danis the Dreamer. Uh, Elenix is Emperor Orion of Orion's Host. Valax is God Empress Belina of Yai-T. Um, Asantis is Lord Aenar the Exile. Uh, Ebrion is Aegon Targaryen. Uh, that was, was Ebrion. Zariel is Makar Mineros, who is in Tyrosh. And Neltharion is Daemon Myrntis. Myrntis, who's in Lys. Okay, cool. Then there's one untamed dragon. Right. So, Emperor Orion of Orion's Host has declared Emperor Orion's conquest of New Valyria on track Marquello of New Valyria. Okay, so he is declared on our leash. Um, 
So that is 30,000 versus 49,000. We're already in another battle, though. Uh, like, we're in another war, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, it um, resolves in a way that we don't lose our land. Because otherwise, this is going to be a very short series. But anyway, let's see what we got here. All hail his magnificent Marquello of House uh, Tagaros, the first of his name, Triarch of the New Valyrian Freehold, Great Archon of the Colonies of Old Valyria, Protector of the Free Cities, and All the East, uh, Master of the Rhoyne, and Lord of Old Valyria and Old Volantis. All hail the Triarch. Or just now, anyway. Right. Co Zirok of Zirok has created a Cass. Uh, hopefully, we don't get too many of those. We may un. Uh, may actually unmark some of these people as special interest if we've got too many. We should also probably have them at the side. Yeah, if we get too many pop-ups, we'll unmark them. King Brandon the Bad has created the High Lodge of Stony Shore. And Co Onik of Onik has created another cast. So what have we got here? Request Council Support. So, uh, we are on our Leash's Council, are we? Uh, we're General of uh, New Valyria. Oh dear, that doesn't seem very good for us. Uh, anyway. To the glorious Triarch Alex, blessings upon you and your house. Please support me by voting with me in the council if you agree to do this. I'll henceforth owe you a favor. So the High Priest, uh, Metheso. Uh, I don't really need a favor from him. He's also Relore, and we are a Valerian, so we're, we're not the same religion. There's some natural disliking of him. So we'll just say, no, we're not, we're not going to do anything with you. Right. Uh, ah, it did set our court physician automatically. That's good. Uh, we need bodyguard set. We have some people. We're not going to set the one marshal person as our bodyguard. We'll set Becco as a bodyguard. Because he seems to be very, very good at it. And we'll set uh, Hirono as a bodyguard. In fact, you know what? We'll set our one person as a bodyguard as well. Just because we need, we have some extra slots free for that. We have some extra positions. In terms of our commanders, we probably want some very, very good... Like, we want good commanders, not this guy. So we'll set that guy in. And then our other commander will put as this one. Cool. Uh, anything else that we need to rush and do? Probably not. I think that this is going to be a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. As this is the first episode of a series, I would really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. Basically, it helps with search ranking and also helps with the viewer engagement stats that YouTube uses. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.